no matter who you are, this is what you need to know about me. I am a star! All right. Now, I have been on the televisions, okay? Not once, but twice at this point, okay? I try not to talk about it too much because, you know, I don't want to seem big-headed. Um, and I don't want television to define me, but uh, I do like to at least acknowledge it because it is how I got laid last summer, so... Um, <laughs> It's worth a mention, uh, gentlemen, um, okay? Uh, I am a Manhattanite, but like not in a mean way, all right? I am a Jew. And that means I get to say the word that way, you do not. But above all, I am a woman who respects herself, okay? You know. I do, I respect myself, and you may not get that from the way I am dressed this evening, or from the way I behaved in the public bathrooms earlier, but I do, I respect myself, okay? And that is because I have learned that it is okay to be what some people might call trash, and you can too, okay? my little TED talk, you're welcome, okay? Yeah, it's true. Now, I wanna tell you a story about trash real quick. I'm gonna slide into this tale like I'm going to slide into your DMs later, sir. Wait, are you guys the couple? God damn it, I always choose the unavailable slash unemployed slash totally uninterested ones. Um, <laughs> God damn it. What I'm trying to tell you is that I come from trash, all right? That's all I'm trying to say. Here's the thing, like, when people hear that I grew up Hasidic, I like to put the hard CH there so that the Gentiles know we're gonna have an exotic evening. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, it's a real Jew, oh my God. If you really like that, my boy name is Max too, more Jew stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, when people hear that I grew up Jewish, they always assume that I come from like this nice, noble, pious family that like kept kosher and kept close to God, you know? Like uh, synagogues, Torahs, space lasers, you know, <laughs> Jew stuff. And it's true, like we were part of the Jewish community, but in the way that Staten Island is a part of New York City, you know, like. <laughs> like technically, but come on, you know, like. It's true, we were Jewish, like we had the uh, hats and the indigestion, um, but, <laughs> but we were different. To circle back to my conception story, I'll tell you that when I was conceived, I was conceived on a bed covered with auto parts because that's the kind of parents I had. They had auto parts all over the house and all over the yard. Those people are usually your neighbors. That is my blood, all right? That's, that's where I come from. That's my lineage. My mom was always trying to kick my dad out of the house and get rid of him, but he always came back with a very good argument, a bottle of tequila, and uh, <laughs> she's like, that's my love language. <laughs> so, so the kid stayed in the picture, you know? <laughs> now you know what you need to know about my mom. Oh, and one more thing, I inherited my beautiful long hair from my mother, do you like it? Just, uh... <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Gentlemen, just so you know, the curtains match the drapes, all right? <laughs> My pubes are also 26 inches long. Um, 